Hi, I'm Danielle, Godiva Secret Wigs, and this video is going to really talk about how to brush your wig. So one of the first things is you never want to have your wig laying really, really flat. Sometimes just from wearing it, you'll kind of, without even, without being conscious of it, you'll just kind of be patting your wig down while you're wearing it, and it ends up being flat like this, which I think looks a little more wiggy. So what you want to do is take your wire brush, um, and you're going to kind of hold the front of the wig, and you're going to really get into the roots and brush it up and back. And you're going to kind of wiggle a little, just really getting in there. And see how it's just fluffing it up completely. And this will just give you that fluff. And see how much different it looks? It does not look like a wig anymore. So it's really important to just get in there at the roots and brush the opposite way that you're used to going. Even brush this way if it's going the other way. Just brush the opposite of what it's used to, and that will help break that up. So it's kind of the same thing in a long wig. Here we have Candace. The first one was Peggy. Here's Candace, and again, you'll see it's really flat here, and that looks wiggy. So again, you're just going to hold by the front, and you're going to brush it backwards. And really get in there. Don't be afraid to get in at the root, because that's what's going to really fluff it up. And then you can let it fall to the sides again. But you'll see it just gives you that fullness that you're missing and that can happen, like I said, from wearing it over time or from subconsciously just patting it down without even thinking about it. You start doing this and you keep going and eventually it looks wiggy. So just really easy, just brush it backwards. Just really get in there. Like that. And that'll just give you your fullness back. And when you're brushing the ends of the wig, you want to start at the bottom really gently, like you would with your own hair, and work your way up. It's really important with long wigs that you make sure that you're brushing the ends out and the underneath every time after you, t after you take the wig off when you've been wearing it. You want to make sure you brush, especially the underneath part, which is under here, and the bottoms, because this is what gets tangled from wearing it. The other great product for this is using our hot airbrush. For the long wigs, it can really get out any, if it's starting to feel frizzy or dry. Um, the hot airbrush also works with giving lift at the top. So that is how you want to brush your wig at the top to keep it full and looking nothing like a wig. Great. Hope that's informational. Bye.